What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change, but it feels kind of strange. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia. Welcome to my channel. So this week I'm making school cafeteria inspired lunches which i spruced up a bit because i just graduated from high school and i honestly miss the food we had there but anyways before we get into this video make sure you like subscribe and also please watch my other videos because i always think they're gonna pop off but they never pop off i mean there's probably a reason for that but hopefully this is the one that pops off let's get on with the video everyone who's driving by is probably like what the heck that little girl doing we're gonna make a deconstructed vegan burger so it's gonna be kind of like a buffet choose your own toppings kind of deconstructed burger day super excited okay we're home one of the recipes says to add one cup of raw, raw walnuts but i don't have walnuts unfortunately so i put pecans instead We're gonna cut up half an onion, oh my eyes, a carrot, and also some mushrooms. So now we're just gonna saute this mix. Looks delicious already. I'm low-key really confused on what I'm doing because I've never made this before and I'm following two recipes that aren't very similar. We're gonna drain these black peas. Black beans aren't even that black, they're like red and pat them dry pat, pat, pat. <laughs> literally the only similarity between the two recipes so i know to do that hopefully this goes good this this goes well i need to go back to high school we got our onions carrots and mushrooms i put in salt pepper garlic salt and basil leaves in it to add some aroma. Now that we got that, we're gonna blend our walnut, oh, our pecans, sorry, with, with what? Chili powder, cumin, salt, pepper, and honey instead of coconut sugar. Ah. Let's just follow the recipe. Rudy like went off it so much that I don't even know how this is gonna taste. Coconut palm sugar. Now we blend her up. That was supposed to be a dry blend mixture, but look at this. What? Why is it like liquidy? Kind of looks like doo doo. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't mess it up. In a bowl, we're gonna put our black beans and mush them up. That looks nasty as heck. And then add the brown rice that I cooked yesterday. This interesting poopy looking mixture. Onions, carrots, and mushrooms. Pinko breadcrumbs and ketchup. And then we go mixy mixy. Now that we got our interesting patty mixture, we're gonna ball them up and grill them. If I had no cash to spend, if I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down So this is lunch. We have spinach, avocado, onion, and tomato. <laughs> we have some interesting coleslaw that Alicia cut. Yay. Yeah. And then some sauce that does not taste good, but whatever. And then we have our veggie patties right there. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It is pretty good. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> I am so excited because yesterday's food tasted so good. Like the burgers were delicious, except the col coleslaw did not taste very good. So we're gonna just pretend that coleslaw did not exist. Today I'm doing something even better. My favorite school lunch. So every Tuesday in my elementary school, we used to always have grilled cheese and tomato soup as an option. So guess what I'm making today? grilled cheese and tomato soup. Here we got our onions and garlic. This is just one onion. And then we have four cut tomatoes here. So first off, what we're gonna do is just saute the onions and the garlic together. So the recipe I 
and following is linked down below. Whenever we follow a recipe, we always look at the comments because the comments have like suggestions on how to make your soup better. So I'm following like the top comments. Honey, look how yummy. All the onion aroma is out. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes. Now that the tomato is beautiful and boiling, I'm gonna add two cups of chicken broth. But we have chicken bouillon instead, um, which is basically like chicken broth powder, and you just add water to it, and then it becomes chicken broth. So basically, I just add two teaspoons of this and two cups of water. Let it simmer for 20 minutes. Oh, fine, come on. Here we go. I'm gonna need some basil. So let me show you our tiny mini garden. This is our garden. It's super small. When we volunteered at the pantry, they just gave us a basil plant, which was super nice. Oh, heck. Look at this is basil. Oh, this is definitely basil. Who smell the basil? Or smell that weed? Okay, that works too. Let's go continue making our soup. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. You don't understand how much I love grilled cheese. Especially our high school grilled cheese. It tastes so delicious. It'd be a little loud, but that's okay because we're in the kitchen. What do you expect? We're gonna make our grilled cheese. Just in my head, pull me back to bed. Oh, oh, when I feel like I got nothing left. I got, I got you. Look how thick she is. Yum. So now that the tomato soup is ready, we're gonna put the basil leaves in there. Turn off the heat. Smash it up. All right, now we're gonna make the rocks thing. We put two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. I don't think I did this right. Uh, I don't know if this is right. It all evaporated. That does not look right at all. Few moments later. <sighs> Are y'all ready for this? Me cutting the grilled cheese. Look how thick she is. Look how healthy. Tomato, like bell peppers and like avocado, they add a freshness to it. So it's not just like fatty cheese. So it's so delicious. Oh, didn't, didn't have the very nice cheese pull effect, but that looks It's decadent. Come on. It's decadent. Decadent. I can't think right now because I'm just too hungry, so I'm just gonna eat. When I feel like breaking down, ooh, you'd be there to hold my head. Hello, welcome to day three. The past few days have been super successful, so I'm so excited. Today we're gonna make pho. And if you're like, what the heck? Why would you make pho if it's for school lunch? Well, it's not just like hamburgers and hot dogs all the time. <laughs> okay, let me just tell you guys how our school usually does it. They put like the soup and then the noodles. I think the soup is basically just chicken stock. And then the noodles are just like Italian pasta noodle thingies. They have a buffet version of like what veggies you want to put so they have carrots peas mung beans sprout thingy or whatever you call it it tastes pretty good honestly okay i'm talking too much we're gonna go right into this it's kind of confusing because i'm basing it off two recipes and i'm combining them together i spent like an hour deciding what i was gonna do you can't really see it but here are my ingredients that i kind of combined of the two but it's mostly of the new york times one if you're looking at it down below and then i have like 
what steps I should do, like step one of the New York Times ones or like paragraph of the other thingy I'm following. So yeah, it's a little confusing, but okay, let's start. I got, I got you. I got, I got you. this bad boy simmer for one hour. We'll see you then. Our one hour is up. It smells really interesting. It smells mostly like cinnamon. Hopefully my cinnamon stick wasn't too sad. because my family is working hard in the kitchen to make lunch yesterday the pho i really don't know how to feel about it because i've never had pho other than school pho which is basically just chicken stock or vegetable stock or whatever they use so honestly the pho i made yesterday was very spiced if you know what i mean it had like cinnamon it had star anise it had like so many things versus the one at school it was just so different that I'd honestly prefer the one at school. You don't hear that very often, but I said it here first, guys. I was a little disappointed from what happened yesterday, but whatever, we're gonna make it up with the next two days. So right now we're gonna make wraps. One of my favorite lunch also, because we have a deli at our school. So you basically just go and you choose your type of bread or a wrap or a croissant and then you like, it's like Subway style, so you just choose like everything. Usually I just get like a wrap with mayo, ham salami, provolone cheese, spinach, cucumber, and tomato. But we're gonna try one with hummus, so we'll see how that goes. So first we're just gonna chop up a cucumber and a tomato and also a quarter of an avocado. Okay, now we just start our assembly. First we put down the hummus that my cousin just made yesterday, so it's nice and fresh homemade hummus with peanuts in it too. Beautiful. And then we add our spinach and we add our cucumbers tomatoes and avocados it looks so good so i'm just gonna wrap it up now if i can i think i put too much oh heck okay the wrap is kind of falling apart but let's try it oh my goodness it's literally falling yep case in point it's falling apart i just got a mouthful of tomato ah Pretty good. Hummus tastes pretty good in it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Last day. Fridays are for pasta. So what are we making? You got it. Pasta, but not normal boring pasta with just canned marinara sauce. We're gonna make potato and yoki today because i was inspired by that jeremy guy on tiktok so i woke up at nine today to cook these beautiful potatoes and peel them we're just gonna get right into it so i tried to mash up these potatoes but then i realized these potatoes are still raw great so then i just kept on mashing and mashing and mashing but they were still very chunky and it probably took me like a lot longer than it would have taken me if i just left it in the pot for 10 minutes lesson learned you know sometimes you can't take the shortcut in life because it leads to a longer path 
So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, the potatoes weren't completely mashed up, but I got too tired, so I just plopped an egg in there and mashed it all together. Then I put in salt and pepper and then did a lot more mashing. Found a bunch more clumpy potatoes and tried to stab them and rip them apart, but did so unfortunately unsuccessfully. Then I added flour and tried to knead it together, but it was super duper sticky. Literally, look at my hands. That failed like everything else going on this day so i added a lot more flour <sighs> this is what my beautiful dough looks like beautiful right look at the recipe i'm following look at that dough what they, they could form it into a ball look at my dough it's literally so sticky my hands were literally like coated with potato starch i think all my potatoes were so fat that like I need to put a lot more flour because I did put double the flour or I just like completely messed up. <sighs> it's okay, it will be okay. Now we're just gonna form these um, interesting in yogi thingies into little balls like this because we can't roll it out into a huge ball. And then roll it, says my cousin. How precious. Okay, we're just gonna do that and keep on doing it till we get rid of this potato mess. I figured out that you actually can roll it. I just, I just needed more flour. So yeah, I got it. <laughs> nasty especially if you don't like mushrooms but i added some cowboy cheese on top i think wait dude it's super good mm, i'm actually surprised it's really thick and chunky i like big. i like them chunky i like them big yeah but pretty good Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching up to this point. I post every Monday. I try to do it at 9 a.m., but not always successful. But we're not gonna talk about that. Please like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and you can watch all my videos, of course, on my YouTube. No duh. I have a lot more cooking videos on my channel, and there are a lot more to come, but my favorite ones are honestly when I cut my dad's hair and also the road trip series. So go check those out and we'll see you next Monday. Bye.